do subscribe and hit the bell when I see you drop your comment as well. But for our already subscribers, we will not forget to appreciate you all the time. So you've done so well and we want you to continue watching our videos. Thank you. Down to the business. Okay. It's about grip, waist grip from the back. So we, the first point is this. Now take on the grip. Okay. Now you need to take a firm stand. And by this grip, when you relax yourself like this, you make the person who is grabbing you to believe that you are not in any way uncomfortable because he's gripping his in his mind he wants to make you uncomfortable. When you are relaxed like this, you will see you will prove you prove to him that he, you are not uncomfortable. So if you want to do something that will make you uncomfortable with might now affect your action. So now you already you know how to calm yourself down but don't show him that you have calmed yourself down technically. Now you try to achieve you are uncomfortable by this you're trying to do something and the next thing is there and the next thing is there okay that is one point now we take it once again from this angle before we choose a different angle like i said fling yourself around instead of him flinging you so that he will prove you think he's you're trying to struggle to free yourself but not knowing that you're only playing a trick on him because you have already taken yourself a firm of yourself and the next thing is you go one here and two there that's it for that angle now let's go to the front all right the same way he grabs again you take a firm stance do not stand like this because if you stand like this he might lift you now, when you stand like this, if he tries to lift, he will not be able to lift successfully. Now, if he wants to lift forcefully, this. And when you do this, try to lift. Can you see that? Try to lift again. Oh, he can't lift from there. Now, here, you know you have, taken, you have already taken a firm grip or stand. And now, you try the same trick. Swing, 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 and the next thing you go one there and you go two there. That's it for the front. Here. Now let's take the other side. Now here again. Take the, the lock again, the grip. Now you do the same thing. Take your firm stance, struggle and struggle and struggle, and then you go one and you go two. He will free you whether he likes it or not. Okay, that's that for number one, the first point of how to escape from the bad grip on weight. Now let's go to number two. All right, now the second way to escape from the front, I mean, from the waist grip through the back, through the back, is this: you take your firm stance again. And struggle and struggle. The next thing is you take the punch to the waistline. Palm here. And the point of target must be very, very pronounced, very specific. You do not just throw the punch, but you throw the punch to the waist bone. Knuckles. Palm lands on the waist bone. Okay? Now for but a more clarity here I sink down take palm to the waist bone palm there so whether he likes it or not he must uh, you feel uh, it? that is it alright now that's for the front view now let's go to the side view the same thing goes Shake up, shake up, shake up to make him discomfort, to, to, to just disorganize him and think he's in, in, in position. Think he's, he, he's going to think, ah, he's going to swell. Think, ah, he has taken position of you and you are discomforted. Instead, he does not know that you are playing a trick. And then, bam!
wanted to walk, he shouldn't come to grab me like that. Yes. So that one is left for him. Alright? So now let's take the other view. Now from here. Same grip. Do the same trick. Do the same trick. And when he least expected, you go PAM! Yes. Simple as that. For more emphasis, I go slowly, so that from the side, you understand where the punch is going to. That is it. I feel it with a shock. Just send your body back, like that. Release the punch, double to the waist See that? Okay. All right. That's that for number two, the second point. Now let's go to the third point on how to free yourself from the wind trip from the back. Okay, let's take front view again from the angle. Now this time, you still take, try to do play the same trick on him again. Don't relax, even though you know you are, you can be relaxed and you're relaxed already. But don't let him know that you are relaxed. Now, pretend as if he has been able to make you discomfort. Ah, now what happens next? The next thing is you stamp on the feet. Boom! One, stamp two, and send this one here. Okay, now somebody will ask, somebody will ask, how effective is that? Now let's let's show the effectivity of it. Now grab it. Alright. Now after I have stamped here, my stamping here is to is to weaken this leg a bit. Weaken this leg a bit so that by the time I want to step in, you will not be able to shift it immediately. Pam! Pam! Then I move in. Now this. Now try to restrict a bit. See that? Uh -huh. If you restrict, you end up breaking your leg. So the better you fall, because the, the 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 effect is coming here and here. See that? See that? So you must follow up, or else you find your, you have yourself to blame while trying to restrict. Okay? That's from the front view. Let's go to the side view. Okay. Okay, now no, we are using this side, so let's work on this side. So that we can pick from there. Alright. Now from here, same way, take your firm stance. Now, shake and shake and shake and let it stamp there. Pam, stamp there, pam, stamp there. And then send this in. The standing. Like I said, if he tries to restrict, he's causing more problems. So he has to go. Okay. Now let's show a little bit of to clear more doubt. Now grab it. Now I stamp here one, I stamp here two, I stamp here three. That is as I wish to. I might just want I might just stamp one and then step in. Now stepping in. Now I notice he's trying to restrict. Now I do this. Boom at the same time. So that those are different ways to let out. You say how he restricts, he restricts, but okay, he has restricted. Now he's still is here. He's uncomforted here. Now the next thing I need to add this again. While adding this, I start I pull this off. Boom at the same time. So that is it. Now let's take it for the last time. Slowly. I stamp here one. I am restricting the stamping because we understand how it feels. Boom! There. One. I drop there. Sink and I go there. Boom! Uh -huh. Okay. That is number three of how to free yourself from um, waste grip from the back. Right now, let's go straight to number four. Okay. 
That is number four. The fourth way to free yourself from this kind of thing. Take your firm stand, like I said, and try to prove to him that you are uncomfortable by his grip. Then go straight to the hand. Now you try to pull the two hands, if two hands are not responding, you go to one. And as you go to one, that's what happens. You lock from the wrist. Now we're done, you lock from the wrist here. Yeah? All right, if he's wise, he will leave you immediately Sorry. so that you will stop because restricting when you are locking the wrist is dangerous you will follow for you to be safe to be on the safer side follow. but by the time you restrict when your wrist is locked sorry now the next thing from me is swing and that's it. Simple. Simple. Let's take that again from the same view. I sink down. I go here. Both hands. I notice both hands will be difficult. I go to one. I open the one hand. Lock from the wrist. And by the time I lock from the wrist, I he's still hanging on it. Now I took, I go one and two and swing. Go. All right, all right, let's clear some doubts. Because I know there might be some questions hanging, but I'll try to clear some of them even before they come. Okay, now grab again. Now somebody will say, you've succeeded to, to do this, and he's still waiting. But of course, I need you to be in his position here so that you understand what he's saying. You know that he's not just still waiting. That is already gone. But anything he tries to do here. Now try to do anything from ah. It's best he stays calm. Anything he tries to do. And once I do this, <laughs> he will send a message and he will relax. So this kind of thing is follow me to be safe. That's all. Now be against me. We are in bigger trouble. Okay, now to clear this doubt, I can decide to. Okay, he's still. Somebody will say, ah, he's still relaxed, he's still uh, comfortable. Now I go this to the head. Boom, here. And he's gone already with the lock. And I swing. And I can still decide to grab, still hold the lock. Or I free the lock. Okay. That's one. You go to the next one again. What possibly can happen alongside taking on this technique? Okay, now, if you do not actually know the technical way of freeing this hand, you can help yourself by nodding the head first to help you do that. Boom, there you go. But if you know, it is simple. Once you know, the technique is simple. No matter how tough or how hard that person locks it, once you go here, try as much as possible to lock it as tight, as hard as you can. Once your hand, if you know the technique, once your hand succeeds to go here, he must free, he must lock the, the wrist. And from here, it's locked already. So I'm only supporting him. Now I go comfortable with it. Now I strike the head and then go. Oh, I strike here, grab here, still locking and swing. And I swing. It's as simple as that. So in any way is possible. But first, self-defense move, as I have always said, has technique. It's very technical. It is somebody who does not know the technique that will look at it. Because by the time you do it, you execute it. To, to a layman or to somebody that does not have the idea of it, it will look 
Yes, how possible can that be? How does somebody do that? But I'm telling you that it is very, very possible. All when you know the technique. Okay? So this is the fourth one. Now let's go straight to the last but not the least, the number five. All right, we are taking on the fifth one, last but not the least for today. So let's see the graph again. Take the graph, and as usual, we tend to be uncomfortable. All right, and the next thing you do, sink down again, sink down again, send your hand there, and put find a way to put your hand straight, lock, then send your body back forward by pushing then the next thing you do send the leg you you've extended forward boom ah. to the ground straight palm to the ground then from here boom. that's how it goes you need to have a firm grip okay Find a way, put the hand here, lock it well. It's locked. Stretch. Now you're stretching, it's pulling. You're pulling with hand to get and it's stretching. Stretch backward. Stretch again. And then you swing this leg. Boom there. Strike. Ah. See that? Bam. Bam. Then swing. Okay, this is very, very technical, and you must have the knowledge, you must have the skills and the, and the techniques. So, we do not need to go further with this, but if you want to have more of this, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell, so that you get our updates as we come up with them on daily basis. For the persons who are coming on or watching the video for the first time, do not forget, subscribe, hit the bell for emphasis as we wait your comment. Then for our subscribers already, we appreciate you and we say thumbs up. Thank you.